In Georgia and Alabama, the Muscogee culture thrived in large agricultural communities. The mound site of Ontmogee in Macon, Alabama is reflected in the celebration of the modern mound building that it houses the council now in Ontmogee, Oklahoma. The ceremonial life of the Muscogee centered around a sacred fire, Boja, grandfather, where ancient dances celebrated the animals and traditions of the Muscogee people. Tulsa also had a fire anciently that is displayed at the Old Creek Council House Hill. It is said that the people on the Trail of Tears carried pots with the original embers, the entire 1,200 miles, so that their ancient fires would never extinguish. At each ceremonial ground was a Miko, Heniha, second in charge, chief, Hilis Haya, or a medicine man, a speaker called Miko Telazwa, or the Miko speaker, and four Tustanegi, or four warriors. One of the key reasons for the ceremonial grounds was to celebrate the Green Corn Festival, or Poskeda, during the Creek New Year in late July when the, green, when the corn harvest was ready. The Muscogee were spiritual people who believed in a higher power called Evil Funga, the one who is above us. The Greeks have always been a confederacy of over 44 Idulwa, or tribal towns. Many of those towns could be found in the 1540s when DeSoto invaded the nation. Telemajazi was in Alabama and was relocated to near Eufaula, as many other the tribal towns that were historic in Alabama and Georgia. For Indians who were wealthy, they had four buildings. Usually it was centered around a, center, a central plaza or central fire. One was used to place as a place to cook food, as a winter house, also known as a hot house. Another was a summer house and a hall for receiving visitors. The third house was for storage for food and other provisions. The last house was two stories high and was divided into two apartments, the lower story of one end being the potato house, where roots and fruits were stored. At the other end of the building, both upper and lower stories were open on three sides. The tribal towns were composed of upper creeks and lower creeks. Many of the upper creek towns were originally in Alabama, and many of the lower creek towns were originally in Georgia. The Muscogee still celebrate all night long a stone house is called Obonga Hadro. Another function of the ceremonial grounds is the playing of stickball. In the past, challenges between tribal towns over disputes led to something called Devotheta, the last one happening in the 1930s between Wilgufki and the Alabama Quasadi tribal towns. The families of the tribal towns were divided into clans, named mostly for animals. There were at one time up to 50 different clans. Clans like Hobata, Alligator, Mokolzi, Bear, Ijo, Deer, Woodko, Raccoon, etc. Clans are traced through the matrilineal bloodline, meaning the mother. Many of the tribal towns established traditional churches, which functioned similar to the ceremonial grounds, with the central church surrounded by camp houses. And the preacher was the same as the Miko, or chief and deacons eventually became uh, very important, like the Hinihas or the Tustanegis at the ceremonial grounds. Hizagana Mazi, or the giver of breath, is a Creek expression of the higher power, meaning giver of breath. One dish that is favored among the Creeks is one uh, made of hominy called safke. Safke is made by cooking white cracked corn in a large supply of water flavored with lye made from wood ash. No other seasoning is used. The mixture is cooked over moderate heat for three to four hours, and meat such as pork or beef is usually added. Another dish that is mainly in February or to April is that of wild onions. Hilis Haya, or medicine men, are also known as the keepers of the plants. The Creeks believed that children had insight into the spiritual world, but children were also raised with a lot of respect. Children left the room or went outside when the elders were talking. They never interrupted a conversation. They spoke only when spoken to, never looked into the eyes of an elder when being spoken to, shook hands with an elder only when the elder extended their hand, did chores when told to do so without asking questions, and were always the last to eat during the feast or gathering. The Creeks believed that the Creator gave the world the sister sun and the brother moon. A lot of ceremonials are celebrated with the sacred number of four. One belief was that comets announced a season of war. Another belief was that a large toad was trying to eat the moon and moon men would rush out and shoot their guns at it to scare it away. The Big Dipper was thought of as a canoe and not cookware. The North Star was called a stationary star. 
The morning star was called the bringer of daylight. The Milky Way was the path of the spirits. Greeks believed in a creature called the Saint Holo, the horned serpent, a magical animal that had dramatic abilities and powers and could tell righteous young men of deep meanings. The Greeks believed in a myriad of strange creatures, such as the sky woodpecker and others. The Greeks watched animal migrations to understand the seasons. The Greeks looked for trees whose branches grew near water to find water. They believed that when the moon was one quarter, it would soon rain.